this problem we have to graph g of x equals ln x plus 4. So this is the graph of the natural log shifted to the left by 4. So left 4. So whenever you add a number to the x, uh, it's backwards, it's left. Okay, so we start by graphing ln x. So all the log functions look roughly the same. They all have vertical asymptotes at 0, and they all look like this. So we start with this picture always. And then we're taking this picture and we're shifting it left by 4. Okay, so I'm going to draw it again over here. So when you shift it left by 4, the vertical asymptote is going to go to negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And you'll notice that this is 1. So it's always 1 over. So this will be right here, 1 over. And that's the graph. So all we have to do now is graph it um, in MATLAB. So I'm going to click here where it says click to enlarge graph. And then I'll click the um, logarithm tool right here, this one. Notice the solid line is picked as well. Okay, and I'm going to click anywhere in the graph. And we went to the left 4. So when you go left and right, that's a horizontal shift. So we went left, so I think we need a negative 4. Now I'm going to close this. And sometimes when, I, when you close this, it doesn't adjust. So we went left 4, hit the X. And see, it didn't, it didn't do anything. But when you click Save, it should work. Moment of truth. Yep, see, it shifted to the left 4. So now you've got to go back and do it again because you have to enter the asymptote. So the asymptote is at negative 4. So it's a dotted line. You have to click the dotted line. And you have to click the line tool. Okay, so dotted and line tool. Then you have to go over here and click somewhere. So I'm going to click here at negative 4, anywhere at negative 4. And then you can move your mouse to get the rest of the line. See? Pretty cool. <laughs> so we want to get a vertical line, so I'll stop there. And then click Save. And then click Check Answer. So just take your time with it. It takes some practice to get, to get it right. Um, we want the vertical asymptote. So that's x equals negative 4. Remember, it's always x equals for vertical lines. The domain starts at the asymptote, and it's a parenthesis. So negative 4 to infinity, negative 4 to infinity, left or right, it's all the x's. So negative 4 to infinity. That's the domain. Now it wants the range. That's from the bottom up, so all real numbers. Negative infinity to infinity. This does go up forever. It just goes up really slow. So negative infinity to infinity. So negative infinity to infinity. Let's try it. And that's it.